Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, I got this 2007 Pontiac G6 right behind me. So this year with this Pontiac G6, customer was complaining while she was driving on the road. She noticed that it had the engine reduced power, and now on top of that, she says she had some other gauges that would drop down. And the thing is, when she came over to kind of show me what was going on, I found something right here. So how about on today's video, we try to figure out this issue and give this vehicle back to the customer. All right, so when the customer showed up, she was actually a subscriber of mine and she watched some of my videos. She came over and we started talking for a little bit and we had the hood open like this. And while we we're talking and she was telling me a little bit about the vehicle, look what I found out right The here. vehicle was running and so on. And when I was talking to her, I was just kind of looking at the vehicle and then something just caught my eye. And I don't know if it caught your eye too. Check this out right here. So... As soon as we're as soon as she was telling me about what's going on, I kind of stopped her for a quick second and I said, "Check this out right here. I don't like how this looks, and especially that this is kind of laying on this housing right here." So, I kind of turned this over. Let's see what I showed her. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's a purple wire right there. A brown wire and then there was another wire that were pretty pretty much gone so what we want to do before we just call this and say this is going to be the issue and just be done with it we're going to verify this we're going to try to see if we can put this wire back where it was right here and then we're going to hook up our scopes we're going to verify all the issues that she was talking about and then we want to you know be 100 percent sure before we give this vehicle back to the customer so let's go to this i actually just wanted to show you this look at this this one was completely gone there's nothing there it is not even touching you got copper strand here and copper strand down there so yeah the other ones they st they're still connected, but they can still be shorting out. All right, so we're gonna be looking at some wiring diagrams right here. And remember, on the wires that were messed up, we had three wires that were messed up, and it was a uh, two purple, one was completely gone, the other one was uh, just chafed, and then we had a brown one. The issue that she had was engine reduced power, and we still got to look at the codes and that's when we're getting our scan tool but if we look right here we do have a purple wire on the accelerator pedal and the brown wire as well and if we go down again we can see our throttle control as well and guess what we have our purple and our brown one right here as well our brown one is going to be feeding our actual motor and our purple is going to be one of the actual resistors right here, potentiometer. But right now, I kind of want to focus on this. But to uh, verify that, we got to go into the vehicle and look at the codes and see which one it is. So we're going to do that. And then after that, we're going to look at some data pids and we're going to see which one is actually bad because we do have one purple one that's completely gone. As you can see right here. But if I'm not mistaken, if we look at our actual computer side right here, we got some low refs and we have another purple one right here and that's a fuel level sensor. So we gotta see what that purple one is. I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna be something with the APP or the throttle, especially showing that. And you can see we have another purple one right here for our O2 sensors, but I'm really going for something on the, on the throttle. So let's go to the vehicle. Let's look at some codes. Let's see what we have. And then after that, we can try to verify, fix this up and give this back to the customer. All right. So these are the codes that we have right here. We have a P0010 intake cam position, extra solenoid. Then we have a P0222 that's going to be a tps circuit two and then we have a throttle position sensor one correlate one and two correlation all right so the, those are our codes right here so let's check this out let's see what we find out 
All right, sorry for the glare. You can kind of see me back here. So right now we have our TPS one voltage, TPS two voltage, and then we got our APP one voltage and APP two voltage. So you can see they're all kind of staggered. Right here, TPS one is at 3.36 resting and then 1.6 resting as on the second one. And then APP one and then APP two. These are a little bit closer to each other, so we're gonna see what happens when we press the pedal. Some of them mirror, and then some of them actually go on the opposite direction. So you can see on the TPS is going down, while the AP uh, TPS2 is going up. But then look at this, the APP1 is going up, while the APP2 is going up as well. So these are mirroring, and these are actually kind of crossing each other. So these are going together, and these are going opposite of each other. But we have one wire, which is a purple one that is basically not even in existence. It's not doing anything. And we got to figure out what that is. But what we can do right now on this one, we can actually go ahead, put like a little pedal thing right here. Go to the front of the vehicle and then kind of push it down. And remember, one of the, uh, I think the brown wire was an actual motor one. So we can go to our list. We can find where the motor is at. Tack motor. But we can turn this on right here, power reduce, see what all happens. So right now it says power reduce no. But let's go to the front of the vehicle. And we're gonna have this depressed. And we hooked something up right here. And we're gonna go to the front of the vehicle and then try to touch this and we're gonna see if any of these change. So let's do that, let's see what we get. All right, so I use this tool right here and we're just kind of pressing that down. So let's go to the front of the vehicle, see what we find. All right, so I actually brought the car inside the shop. Now what we need to do is see if we can touch these right here. Look, <laughs> look at that. Let's see if we can do this again. Ah, there you go, look at that. Attack motor disabled and then engine reduced power is yes now and that if I'm not mistaken was the brown wire I think that's the brown wire so this is the wire right here the brown one and remember when we're looking at the wiring diagram this was actually for the tack motor if I'm not mistaken and as soon as that was touched that went into disabled reduced power mode I want to check out this purple one right here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and cycle the, the key, and then we're going to see what this does. All right, so I had to clear the codes. And as you can see, we're back to enabled, no engine reduce. And now what I want to do is go ahead and touch this purple wire and see what, hap what happens when we do that. So the one that hasn't been completely torn off. Okay. And as you can see, when I'm when I do that one, that's the TPS sensor two that went down. And then as well, that threw our engine reduce. So that's our TPS. So that's gonna be messing around with our TPS right here. APP still the same. And now I want to see what happens when we touch this one. And right now, which one, the one that we're touching is the one that's just completely torn off. And I'm just kind of curious what that one is. I don't think that has to do anything with in here. But we know that our two wires, one is going to be for the TPS and then the other one's going to be for the actual motor because our engine reduce is on now and what our Tack is enabled, but before it was disabled. So let me see what the other one does, and we'll figure that out. Check this out. So we have this P0-10 intake cam position actuator cylinder control circuit. All right. That's that's a different one right there. And remember, we looked at these two wires right here. So this is a TPS circuit 2. We did notice that the TPS, as soon as we touched that other purple wire, that one dropped. And then we have a control position sensor 1 and 2 correlation. That can be with the actual brown wire that's dropping that one off. So we verified that. Now we have this other wire that is still, we don't know what it is. 
So let's look at this intake cam position actuator solenoid, see if that one has a purple wire. And then what we can do, we could probably turn on the vehicle and see if we, if we can get it to act up once we touch that right there on that housing. So let's go inside, let's look at this wiring diagram, see what we find out on this intake cam position. All right, check this out. So look at that, we have an intake cam position actuator solenoid and look what it has right here. It has a purple wire so i think this is going to be our issue right here so i want to go check this out because this is kind of cool we have a purple wire we have that code over there we're verifying what the issue is now let's try to turn on this vehicle see if we can get anything to show up while we look at scan data so we have all our data right here we got exhaust and intake and what we're going to do we're just going to turn this on and remember this wire is basically just kind of snipped so i just want to see what we have i would just want to rev the engine up and we, we just want to see our exhaust, how that's doing, and then our intake. So we have our intake angle, we have our intake variance, and variance is basically what the difference is from what desire, from desire to the actual angle. And we have that exhaust as well. So let's turn on this vehicle. All right, so we have this on, and I'm just gonna kind of rev it up. All right, there you go. All right, cool. So now we can turn off the vehicle. Awesome. And now we can pause this and then we're gonna look at our data. All right, so we're gonna start off with, which we would consider a known good. And that's gonna be our exhaust so we can see our exhaust angle is at 19 if we look at our exhaust variance is zero so there's no difference and that lets us know that in our exhaust we're commanding a 19 degree and we got a 19 degree now what we need to do is go to our actual intake and see what we get there so if we look at our intake angle right here, we are at zero. Our desired was at nine. And you can see as well as our variance is nine because it's showing that, you know, if we put these to together, we get zero with nine. There's gonna be a difference of nine right there. But if we look at our exhaust, pretty much, well, this is just a little bit off, but remember what we're looking at look at this when we were at angle 19 and desire 19 our process ratio is at zero so our exhaust is working perfectly is our intake so what I want to do now is we're going to fix up our wiring we're going to verify everything's okay and then after that we're going to retest this and verify all that but we can verify that we had first our tack motor our TPS and now we can see right here that our intake is not working properly so let's all fix this up and let's retest them all right so we already finished that as you can see we have some conduit on here it's pretty far away now I did solder the wires wrapped it up with some 3m tape and then put the conduit afterwards so now let's go inside look at our data pids and see if we actually have a fix now all right so we're inside the vehicle now now let's check all this out so remember, we gotta turn this on, rev it up pretty good. So, so we can get this to. All right. All right. Cool. So now let's see what we get right here. Bam, look at that right here. So if we look at this right here, we have an intake angle of eight, desire to seven, and a variance of one. So I think that's a fix. So there you go. This is what we got right here. And it all started off by just a visual inspection. It was a really quick one. Anytime I have like any issues like this, electrical issues, I'll start looking at the engine bay, seeing if there's anything right there. 
But luckily, as soon as the customer brought it up, I looked at I looked right at the little part right there and I saw the wire just touching. So that made me pretty confident about where the problem was going to be at. But remember, you always got to check everything out. Look at your data pits, look at your codes, look at your wiring diagram to verify exactly what's going on because you just don't want to call it and then you know fix up that wire and then send it off we got to verify our actual issue ver uh, make sure that that is our actual problem and then we can give the vehicle back to the customer we verified all of them from the three wires we had our power reduced that we actually showed right there our tps uh sensor and then our purple wire right here that we just found out that is going to be our cam angle so there you go. If you do like this video, please put a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get our brand new videos coming out from Miles Mechanics. Y'all take care. Y'all have a nice day.